Hello and welcome, and today I'm going to teach you how to make Nightmare Before Christmas cupcakes for Valentine's Day. First, we're going to make the cake batter. That's going to be our cupcake. <laughs> okay, so to get started, we're going to follow the instructions pretty much on the back of the box. You can use any cupcake mix you want. It could be anything. It's pretty much open to what you want to do. <clears throat> open this up. Pour it into the bowl. Like so. Then we're going to add. Oh, don't forget to preheat your oven. To what temperature? <laughs> to 370 to 350, or depending on what's on what your box says. And um, we're gonna add w water. And I don't have measuring cuts, so I just eyeball it pretty much. But if you have measuring cups, that's great. We're watching. Just add what looks good, I guess. Listen to him. <laughs> and then you add the vegetable oil. Once again, just add a little bit, or if you have measuring cups, you can use a measuring cup, but I'm just going to eyeball it to how I like it. Not too much, but enough. Add a little bit more here. Might as well. Then, we're going to add the two eggs. It could be any brand of eggs, by the way. Here we go. Do that. other egg and just mix it until it's pretty much creamy you don't want a whole bunch of lumps inside of it and I'm using room temperature ingredients so that way there's it will come out smoothly let's get stirred up beat the hell out of it yep yep yeah. <laughs> okay, then it's ready. See, it's not, like it's better. Mm-hmm. Like that. Then you add it to your then you have to take your cupcake wrappers. The the black ones. You need black cupcake holders. So we're gonna take out the black the black. <laughs> Uh, uh, stupid camera. The more right here. There we go. The black cupcake holders. Don't drop them into the <laughs> batter. You can use probably red or like a teal color cupcake holder. Something that's like Nightmare Before Christmas esque. What color you fancy? F whatever you want your character. Jack and Sally to be use those colors. Then we're gonna fill. Okay, I already pre-lined the cupcake tin with the cupcake holders. Now we're just going to put in the cupcake mix. Yeah, so we're gonna take a spoonful of cupcake mix and gently pour it into the cupcake liner. And we're just gonna make sure that it doesn't dribble everywhere just into the container and just keep doing it for all of the liners you may have too much shake off the, try to shake off the excess from the bottom of the spoon when you're ready just pour it into the cupcake liner or holder, whatever you want to call it. I call it both, pretty much. 
and then when you're done you place it into the, to the oven for 15 minutes okay so now we're back I've already cooked all of the cupcakes that I wanted to so now we're making the frosting for the Jack cupcakes okay so I have some pre um, mixed butter here and now I'm going to add the um, white Sorry. Um, frosting mix to slowly to this butter here. Just adding it slowly while I mix. Not trying to break the bowl here. And you just keep stirring it, stirring it. Sorry, that's in the my bag is in the way. I'm gonna keep stirring it. And just keep slow, slowly <coughs> turning, mixing the powder, the frosting mix into the butter here. And I don't have a mixer, but I think I'm doing pretty good here. <laughs> a little bit after you mix it all in here, then you have to add some water, which should have been added right about now, but it's okay. I'm just doing what the box tells me to do. That way it comes out right. Oh, slowly. This might take a while. Doing anything? Okay. Explain. Okay. So, I'm back and the frosting is mixed for the Jack cupcakes. I had to use just a recommendation. I recommend using another stick of butter, using two sticks in total. This will give you more frosting. The more butter you put into here, the more frosting you will get. And you add a little bit of water to the mix. Not much to give it a creamy consistency and then stirring it really fast three two to three minutes all right so what do we do next now we're going to scoop in this fr it'll still be okay Would you it'll like still cut work. off the tip or something yeah <laughs> and I did cut off the tip <laughs> oh okay so that way the frosting will go through the way I want you you just cut the tip however oh, sorry you however why do you want it to come out? I cut it. The smaller the cut, the more precision you oh, will yeah. get. <laughs> and then I'm tucking in the top of the bag. So that way, I tucked in the. T Give I tucked the bag, the bag because you, because it's easier for the um f frosting to go in. So yeah, that's why I did this. So. We are going to scoop in our frosting using this spoon that you mixed with, if you used a spoon, like me. Why, why waste spoons, right? It's really... <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> and we're going to scoop <clears throat> all of the frosting, or as much as we can, into the bag. But you can always go back and and put more in. So I'm going to try to put in all of it. So I, I don't have to stop and put, keep putting, refilling the bag. Take this bag at the top and like squeeze it down. Uh, take the frosting oh, hang and on. Let squeeze me just get a it down. Of this bag. Yeah. yeah, a picture of this nice bag. Yeah, try That's and squeeze. Nice and then we're going to hold this, the top part, Stop and then, this tip. I'm trying to get a picture of it. And then squeeze it down. Uh, see? Okay, you can yeah, see that squeeze. That almost came out of the top there. <laughs> yeah, it's going to come out. But if, you have, out <laughs> but if you have one of those metal um, uh, decorating tips, then it, it should be fine. If one you're doing those. it like me, then yeah. One okay, so. Cupcakes has like a. Like a okay. Design on it. Squeeze out the frosting onto the cupcake. See, there we go. And you can put as much. Okay. <clears throat> then we're gonna do this one. Ooh, 
gets your hand. Nope. That your hands will get tired depending on how your how much you squeeze. Get those hands frosting up. Work. Yes. <laughs> Start squeezing those handbars and prepare for squeezing a bag. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that sounds like what you do for self defense. Okay, so we're back now, and now we're going to start decorating the Jack Cupcakes. Okay, so these are my little lovely Jack Cupcake skewers that I made front and back, as you can see. And they're hand-drawn and made by myself. And you just, or you, you can make these yourself. Like, with any image that you want to do of Jack, you can even print it out for yourself or put it on construction paper. I just use simple, like, notebook paper because they're just going to get thrown away. So, eh, cute little decoration. So, you put it into your cupcake, into your cupcake like so. Not too much. Don't put the... They won't go any further. <laughs> so... Then you take the sparkle gel. Then you take the sparkle gel from Wilton that I got at Walmart or you can get at the craft store Joann's. And this is a black sparkle gel. And you just open it up. And I already pre cut the tip. And we're going to make stripes for Jack. You're just going to light up, move these out of your way. And then we're going to gently squeeze the two and start making our stripes. They don't have to be perfect because they won't come out perfect at first. And, okay. So I'm back. And just gently go along in a line. <coughs> filling in any spaces you might need to along the way. <clears throat> and I think a recommendation, make your hole a lot bigger than I made mine because it's just hard to to a lot squeeze or a up. little because it looks like you might have it just about, you just need to cut a little more off. And just gonna rotate this here. Not Oops, I'm not even looking at the cupcake I was off on my own planet. I'm just gonna keep going around here. Filling in the spaces. So we have we have that uh, pinstripe looking effect. Okay, that's, this is your Jack cupcake here. You can add any um, embellishments that you want to do, but for now I'm just doing them like this right here. This is the Jack cupcake. Okay, so we're back now, and now we're going to make the Sally Cupcake. And this is the um, same cream cheese frosting, and I added a little bit more of the frosting to the frosting that I had left over with this. Just this jar, can, whatever you want to call it, of just frosting. You pick it up. 
Any What's kind. this other thing in your hand? <laughs> hmm? The other thing, this little jar. Oh. This is going to give you... are going further and further away from <laughs> the camera. Well, uh... Well, food color, I'm guessing? This, this is the teal food color. Oh, well. This okay, is, so that's food, that's this food is color. teal food color, and it's also from Whitman. Wh Whitten. Sorry, my... My bad. <coughs> and it's teal. And I think you can see the color... You can indicate the color from the top of the lid. And right here, on the side of the label, it's a teal color. It's a little bit darker than it shows on the camera, but you'll, you, you, you'll see. And we put a little bit in to our frosting here. You can either pour it or scoop it. I'm going to try to pour it in. And... I think I'm going to have to take this knife, little cutlery knife here, and scoop it into my frosting. Oh, that's like jelly. Yes, it's like a jelly. It's not so liquidy as I thought it would be. And I'm going to use a pretty good amount here. Considering the size of how much frosting we have. It's okay if it gets darker or something. But the reason why we're using teal food coloring is because Sally has that bluish orange, bluish, greenish tone to her skin. So this will help create that effect that we want. Then we stir it. Here. As best I can, we can. The camera upside down. <laughs> okay, so for the Sally cupcakes, I use cream cheese frosting and the leftover of the cream cheese frosting that I made from the previous cupcakes, the Jack ones. Frosting. You mean dye? Teal, teal food coloring. Of teal food coloring. And this is the one I use. It's from Whit Witten, and it's teal, and it has like the label at the top, and it has a marking right here. And then I put it in the piping bag and fro already pre-frosted this cupcake, and I'm going to show you how to do Sally now. And then I'm going... Now, I'm going to make the stitches for Sally using this black sparkle gel that we used for Jack. I'm going to use the same one for Sally. We're going to make the stitches in the middle here in, as a squiggly line. <clears throat> and then we're going to add a straight line. Stitches all around. You can also use food coloring as a paint and paint them on with like an unused br paintbrush. And Make sure that you have spaces. <laughs> and then you're going to take your Sally skewer, cupcake skewer. You can make them out of paper. You can make them out of construction paper or print out your um, <coughs> cupcake skewer. But I decided to just use like regular old fashioned notebook paper because it's just going to be get thrown away, so yeah, that's what I got here. And we're going to take it and it because, depending on how big your skewers are, but if you want to, you can always add like some like frosting or black coloring like this just to hide the 
skewer here and then turn it around and do the same thing on the back you can't leave out the back there you go jack and set you have your cupcakes and you face them around twirl them around make them look pretty then you got it and these are the Jack and Sally cupcakes and they're great for Valentine's Day or any kind of like special event that you want to make them for there. yeah like th these ones could be all passengers of a UFO and you also can use black where I used white and then maybe if you find a white food coloring you can paint on the white stripes so it's you could do many variations of it you can use purple cupcake holders for them if you want to black or purple sky's the limit pretty much so these are my cupcakes that I created for all of you so thank you for watching and 